What's good, everybody? This your boy Slick50 for GMT Sports, back with some more news or per se answering these requests about Anthony Joshua versus Francis and Gondam. Here's my thing. And shout out for the title. You know who you are. Um, Here's my thing, bro. Being a young man, I remember trying to fight my daddy. And um, that didn't go too well, bro. And that's just a short version. <laughs> I tried. You know, I think I was about 5'9 at the time. My dad stood there thinking about 6'3". He woke me out. You know what I'm saying? So, in a sense, that's how this went. I'm not saying AJ is his daddy. I'm just saying that you put an O and one boxer in the ring. A guy that should not be in the ring with a champion. A novice. You understand me? The guy skipped the line based off hype yes he did knock down Tyson Fury I was even shocked right and there is no excuse for Tyson Fury so don't give me I don't want to hear it as a professional boxer that should not have happened okay um like I was just speaking about in the Jake Paul Mike uh, video I just did that was supposed to be an exhibition. But because of the success that Francis Francis and Ganu had in there with Tyson Fury, it, it, it became a legit fight. That's a whole nother video. But when you put a guy in there with a two-time medalist, silver and gold, let's not forget that. And I done spoke on this about Anthony Joshua. He doesn't have a lot of amateur. I believe he amateur background. I think he's like 48. Correct me if I'm wrong. 48 and 3. And like 17 KOs or something like that. And the amateur. So he doesn't have the extensive amateur background. He does, you know, he's gotten a lot of trouble in the midst of his uh, uh, boxing career. You know what I mean? Yes, a lot of people will argue that. He fought for a lot of vacant titles and blah, 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 blah. You know what I'm saying? Um, but in the, at the end of the day, guess what? He's a professional boxer, right? They got a lot of professional experience under his belt, bro. And for y'all to be talking about, man, he have to do it Ganu like that. Like, what? Stop playing, bro. Look. He, he, he get guess what? Francis stepped his ass in that ring. He was supposed to get his ass knocked out there. Simple and plain. AJ did his job. I'm not tooting AJ's job. I mean, I'm not tooting AJ's horn. I'm not. Them three knockdowns, hell, it should have been one. You can see the novice in. Francis, how wide his hands was up, right? Hell, he looked like he had better defense against Tyson Fury than he did AJ. Hands wide, it, he was he had like a, a UFC stance, and I understand that. Shout out to shout out to everybody who hangs out on fight nights with your boy. I said it. He gonna get his ass knocked out. Look how wide his hands is. And, and, and just as sure as I said it, pow, got his ass knocked out. I said, damn. AJ did, was he, did exactly what he was supposed to. Yeah, Francis got, well, I think he knocked Tyson Fury down with a left. And he got power on his right. But if you don't know how to set it up, I mean, what, what can you do? Right? I mean, he was biting at every feint that Joshua was throwing at him. Joshua face you till like he looked like he didn't even want to do that to that man like that. But it's it's the game. And I get respect to AJ for not claiming it. He like, man, I ain't worried about that. Give me Herkovich. 
give me Herkovich. And before anybody tries to say, oh, he don't want the winner of Usyk and Tyson Fury. No, they got a rematch clause. The man got to stay busy. I'm glad he called out Herkovich because I was like, get Dillian White, but not Dillian White taking a tune-up. So, who knows? We may hurry up and get this Herkovich fight and might get Dillian White, AJ, because they were supposed to fight. Hellenius was his replacement back when uh, they said Hellenius had drugs in his system, but come to find out, it was a, it was a contaminated air quotes here contaminated uh, um, sample come on and it took y'all this long to come back and say that come on but anyway that's another video too but for all y'all out there oh my god oh my god I'm not taking nothing nothing away from Francis I'm not I think if he sit back fight people on his level he would most definitely Definitely can be a good boxer. But you got to imagine. They, they, put him in, they put him in a ring with two top-tier boxers. Two top-tier boxers, bro. Bro, we need to have a discussion on people skipping the line. This is what happens. This is what happens. Right? I'm just saying, y'all. So don't hate. No. It was not a lack of class. You get your ass in that ring, you'll get your ass knocked out. I don't expect I don't expect nothing more or nothing less. Once you I don't care how you get in the ring. You you cross over the top of the rope, in between the rope, but once you inside of it, you in the shits. And you better be ready for what's coming. So all these articles and all these people you know and shout to y'all hey keep hitting the boy in the in the uh, dms on instagram this ain't no slight to y'all because i got some of y'all in there man and, man when he knocked down the first time man he could have he could have rolled that fight out bro no hell no hey they don't get paid for overtime look at it like this your boy francis in two fights have made 10 times damn near 10 times more money than what he's made in UFC. I believe his record like 17 or something. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not the biggest UFC record keeper there is. But I believe he fought like 17 times. I, I, I'm I not going to look it up either. But I'm just going to say it like this. The man that made, I think, about $30 million. It's either 30 or $50 million in between two fights. And he lost both of them. This dude has to be the highest paid loser out here. Not saying loser in disrespect, but just saying he lost and he has to be the highest paid loser in combat sports, at least. And guess what? He'll be back getting another big payday, probably fighting another big name. I'm being real with you, bro. Who would want to be in his shoes? He didn't even win. He set for life. For life. Not to mention AJ got 50 bump 50 50 M's. <laughs> man, like, comment, subscribe, all that great stuff. Yo, y'all know what it is, man. This your boy Slick 50 for GMT Sports. Like I said, tell a friend, tell a friend. We are doing a giveaway. Shout out to all the new subscribers. All of that. Once we hit that 800, we are giving that Caramel Molten Ricky card away. When we hit 900, we're doing the same. When we hit 1,000 subscribers, we will have a raffle for the signed GMT slash in the red corner merch shirt that has Terrence Crawford, Earl Spence, Shakur Stevenson, Nico Ali Walsh, you name it, Devin Haney, Cambosis, all that's on there. Um, check out, I show it all the time during the podcast, Judges Table Live. I know it says live Monday and Fridays, but it's Friday. So turn the bill notification on. 10 15 p.m come through show up show out all that if you are in the st louis st charles or even in missouri come check out the revival man here it is i'm about here deuces calling all boxing fans in st louis st charles and the surrounding areas mark your calendars friday march 15th the hottest pro boxing event of the spring is here. BXC Promotions Box Culture presents The Revival Pro Boxing Showcase. This will be an epic 
night of big time boxing featuring many of the top names and future stars in St. Louis. Get ready for an all-star lineup of talent, including Randy Kennedy, Jiren Sutton, Christian Gregg, Derek Murray, Brandon Martin, Jermisha, Pretty Paws Poke, Joshua Temple, Sharon Smoke Carter, and in the main event, knockout artist and the number nine ranked heavyweight in the USA, Stefan Big Shot Shaw. This will be a sellout event. Don't miss this epic night of professional boxing, showcasing the future stars and world champion of St. Louis. It's all going down at Steel Shop Athletics and Event Center, 47 Lawrence Avenue in St. Charles, Missouri. General admission is $50. Tickets available at stlboxingrevival.eventbrite.com. The Revival Professional Boxing Showcase.